background music going for y'all. But we're going to go ahead and talk about <laughs> no fap. Okay. So here's what's going on, man. And I was reading something earlier that really caught my attention. And it was a person who was talking about how they fap all the time. And they asked themselves, why can't they stop? Why can't they help themselves? Well, here's one thing. One thing is people, like I've said before, and I say this all the time, the sexualization of everything that we watch has us doing the same thing. But the one thing that people don't really pay attention to is that they want y'all in y'all's bedroom every night, just looking at the same thing, looking at girls and just getting off every single night and doing nothing. Because after a while, you start getting that whole pleasure system. You start getting that whole, oh, I got a reward for looking at a pretty woman, even though I did nothing for her or I did nothing to get her or I did nothing to see this girl naked or to see this naked or to see this or see that or see this girl's booty. You start getting into this place where you start doing it all the time and it starts to really wear on you because you know what? You do start to feel like a loser after a while. Why is that? Because you have done nothing to get to this pleasure that you're trying to get to. Too many of our young men are falling into this trap of fapping and you know i always talk about how much only fans is blown up and all that kind of stuff and it's not just that because even when i was a kid before only fans and all that stuff really existed i still was had my friends we were still thinking it was cool to do all this stuff all the time we used to sit in parking lots and sit in people's driveways and just laugh about this stuff like oh man the things i would do to her i'm sure you heard it all the time Oh man, the things that uh, uh, I would drink her bath water. I would do this with her. I would buy her dirty underwear. It's just like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Dog, you know how much they sit back and laugh at us, man? When they when we do that kind of stuff, when we just sit around thinking, you know what? We will pay fifty bucks for a girl's dirty undergarments. Think about that, man. It is wild that we've gotten to the point where we can't help ourselves from touching ourselves like. <laughs> It's like a dang dog. I mean, you know when you see a dog running around and you see a dog like um, licking his own private parts in the middle? It's just the same concept I get now. And I totally get it, man. And I totally get it because I was stuck in that world, in a crazy world like that, thinking that it was cool to live that way. And that's just the way it goes. Um, I should tell every girl. What's up, man? I should just... Give it up to every girl. I should tell every girl I'm going to drink her bath water. I'm going to tell every girl she's hot. I'm going to tell every girl I would kiss her feet. And blah, 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 blah. And then you just go home and then you you fap off to some random picture on the internet. You go find some picture. You type in girl twerking in the bathroom. I don't know what you look up these days, but I get it. <laughs> but the problem with this, like I said before, with the no fap thing, you know, when you go home and touch yourself every single night, you're not doing anything. You're not getting anything done. You're not disciplining yourself. You're literally just every day wasting your time pretending and thinking that this is real life. And your brain is eventually going to think that. Your brain is eventually going to think, this is real life. I'm really getting these women. I can really get with these girls like this. These girls really like that kind of stuff and all that kind of stuff. I was listening to a story time the other day. And it was crazy. This girl was talking about how a guy... She said, oh, man, he pleasured me so well. He must look at <laughs> he must look at the hub because he knew exactly what he was doing. <laughs> oh, man, the hub is a fantasy. Y'all know that, right? You know that it's a shame that we've gotten to the point where honestly having any kind of intimacy with anyone is just seen as a pleasure thing. And I'm going to go kiss and tell and tell all my boys, hey, man, I just bust her down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or now it's it's even worse now because there was some concept I could kind of understand a guy saying he busts this girl down. Okay, fine. But now it's to the point where men are actually like proud that they go home and sit in their basement and look at the hub. Like real men get on videos and real YouTube videos and really get on there and say, yeah, I was <laughs> I was beating it the other night to this picture. It's just like <laughs> I was ashamed of doing that when I was young, man. I was ashamed of doing that just a few years ago. It was embarrassing to do that. But now I understand that because we've gotten in a place where everything is so accessible we can see the most beautiful women at the snap of a finger that we think that because we can f <laughs> we think that because we can fap off to these girls that it somehow makes us actually able to get these girls the same thing when you see guys give money to only fan models they think that, that if they can give their mcdonald's paycheck to a girl that that somehow makes them more special and, and, and then there's men who come against me sometimes like, well, I make this much money. I'm an electrician and I make $150,000 a year. 
Don't you understand that's still embarrassing? You went out and got skills, went to school, did all these things to make enough money to make yourself somewhat value to, valuable to society. And you take your paycheck and give it to OnlyFans girl who's also giving her body to the boy who works at McDonald's who's giving them their paycheck. And there's real men out here really getting things done out here. You know what I'm saying? There's real men out here getting real things done. And y'all sit here and wonder why it's so cool to sit, go home, and now I'm going to start saying it because we're far enough into the video. But to say I'm going to go home, jerk off, and smoke some weed, what are we doing? I'm, I, I'm embarrassed. Not I'm embarrassed for myself, number one, because I used to do this stuff. Because y'all know my old videos, my old YouTube videos. Y'all y'all seen them. I'm embarrassed for the other men who are my age, you know. I'm embarrassed for other guys who are 30 and up still talking. They can't even... They can't even just watch a movie. They can't watch a video game. They can't do anything without sounding thirsty as possible. It is to the point where it's funny now, right? It's so funny. Like that's what people use for humor. Like if they get on and say, man, look at her breast. Oh my gosh. Look at that anime character. Oh man. She's one of the hottest. It's just like, <laughs> you're looking at the drawing of somebody. Somebody drew that and you're like <laughs> getting off to that. What are we doing? You're getting off to six second TikToks now. What are we doing? We're getting off to Twitch streamers who just sit there, show a little booty, a little bit of booty, and tell you to go to their OnlyFans. That's it. And here's the argument that I am kind of tired of having, but we're going to go ahead and have it because it has to be had. I don't want to hear about men are biologically sexually driven. Okay, you know how stupid that sounds. It really sounds dumb. You dumb. You really dumb. To say that, oh, well, because I really like to look at women. I mean, what can I say? It's the same dumb argument you hear when you say guys can't be friends with girls. It's the same argument because the reason men can't be friends with women is because biologically we want to have sex with every girl we meet, right? So if a girl was depressed, sad, upset, no matter what, if she calls you at 3 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning and says, I'm down, I'm feeling really vulnerable. If she said those words and then said right after that, would you like to have sex? What do you think is going to happen? That's my point. It doesn't matter how the girl feels. You can't get past the fact that she looks good or has a decent looking body that you want to bust her down. Doesn't matter if she's going through some things. Doesn't matter if she has a hard time at a hard time in life. Doesn't matter if she's having some things going on. It doesn't care if she has an abusive boyfriend. It doesn't matter. The second she says she's ready, she's ready to bust it wide open for you. You ain't got no choice because you a man. <laughs> you a man who is sexually biologically wired to bust down anything that walks across your face that's willing to give it up. And I don't agree with this whole, listen, I'm, I'm of the concept. I'm always going to say that you should, you know, use that intimacy for a woman you're going to spend the rest of your life with. But okay. Okay. Let's take a step back. Fine. We'll take a step back. Cool. So you want to go the whole other route. Well, I'll just get with women and I'll just get women because I got money and I can just get with whatever get with whatever girl I want. And because back in the day there was a kingdom Remember, men had multiple women. Okay, and there was also men who had just one. This thing that we do you think you're really gonna get satisfaction out of having 15 girls instead of having one woman is just dumb. That is that doesn't make you a baller, it doesn't make you a king, it doesn't make you better than any other man who can only get one girl, right? You don't have to go get multiple women to prove yourself to anybody. It's not really about status. That's what is always taught about. Oh, men with status, they can get this many. Okay, cool. <laughs> But you having five girls that you're busting down throughout the week, to me, it's, it's dumb. Like, that doesn't give you real status. You're just living for yourself in a selfish way, feeling like you have to go have women to, to validate yourself to other men. I'm sorry to tell you, but that sounds like an insecurity. A man who's insecure within himself can have one woman and be fine with that. He doesn't have to go tell his boys he just had sex with the, the, the hottest girl down the street. Like, you know how childish that sounds especially to and i'm gonna be real married men get the rap i get it married men get the whole oh well yes you're gonna take all your money okay cool you know that when you talk to a married man who's been married for years when you talk to him about having sex with the girl down the street who happens to be really hot you know how dumb it sounds really like i'm gonna be honest with y'all 
Like even for me, when I hear like I don't have friends who do that, but when I hear other men who talk about how much how much sex they're having with women and how they brag about it, it sounds stupid because it's like you're acting like that's <laughs> you're acting like that's hard to do. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I understand some men aren't having sex, but when you're a married man and you have a wife and stuff like that, like having sex is just a regular occurrence. It's just a part of life. It's how you have kids. It's how you raise a family. That's how we look at it. And you are looking at it as, oh man, I'm a big dog. It's like the it's like the little brother coming around and saying, I just beat a high score in a video game. <laughs> it's like, okay, a lot of people have beaten that high score in that video game. In fact, a lot of people have beaten the game. The game's been over. It's done. Beating that game is easy. It's every single day. We can do that every single day if we felt like it. You know what I mean? It's the same thing as saying like, hey, man, I just I just pissed in the toilet for the first time. Or I just pissed in this really expensive toilet. Oh, man, I just pissed in this really, really gorgeous toilet. Okay, everybody pees pretty often dude i mean it's not that special so when i hear the men talk about how much sex they're having and how like it's a boost of their status it's like yeah okay yes is that important to biological women and in the kingdom and women need to know that you're a man who can get multiple women i guess if we live in an effing kingdom we don't <laughs> to be honest we don't live in no kingdom dog we live in a regular life regular people going nine to five it is not special that you get that many women. Look at I wouldn't get I want y'all to look at Denzel Washington, okay? Okay, well, that's just somebody, you know, Denzel Washington. Look at him. Been with the same woman for years. Do you think he like he talks to his other peers that are successful in whatever they're doing? He's a successful actor. He's probably friends with people or billionaires, probably friends with people who are millionaires for sure. You think that he's talking to him about like, man, I just I just had sex with my wife last night. Do you think LeBron James is like, you know what? I'm a billionaire, but let me tell you, I just had sex with a pretty woman who happens to be my wife. Do you think they're bragging about that every night? It's like, dumb. There's plenty of men with status who have one woman. And it's just, it's just dumb, dude. And so what I'm trying to get across is the same concept we use for this justification of going home and jerking off every night to pretty girls as if we're getting them as if it means anything that's what i'm trying to get y'all to understand it doesn't matter it doesn't matter nobody first of all nobody's impressed that you jerk off to anybody and secondly it's just a way to get you trapped brother you're gonna end up spending so much money and if you're broke, you're never going to have money like that because you're spending so much money on trying to get women's attention because you're so caught up in trying to pleasure yourself. You want to get the hottest girl. You want to go get that hot stripper. You want to get that one twist streamer to probably come to your house and bust it down, fly her out. It's just like silly. Silly. These girls, I don't know any of these women in these things, but you know that hot Instagram models, they're getting flown out and getting bust down by a lot of dudes. I mean, why do you want that? Like, it's not something to behold. It's not something to be proud of. Go out there and make yourself available to a woman who is willing to go through life with you because I'm going to tell you right now, the, the fapping thing is just childish. And I even had to figure that out. And I, I'm embarrassed to even say I ever did it. But at the same time, like, I get it because you get lonely. You want somebody there in. <laughs> pleasuring yourself just makes you feel like you're really in the moment like somebody wants to actually touch you somebody actually cares about you these girls look you right in your eyes okay i get it i get it but at the same time you just got to look at you really got to look at how deceptive it really is and how much money and how much time and how much effort you're really wasting giving all your time to whatever you're giving all your time to i understand that there's a such thing as hentai which is ridiculous but i know hentai the thing and i know there's 3d i know there's anime out there i, I understand there's all these different concepts of sexual content and it's a, it's a shame that there's really men who are so into anime that they talk about hentai like it's cool like it's just sad that that's where men have gone like men have fallen so far that we are proud to jerk off to pictures now that's 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 the status that's that's being high there i mean i used to understand when men at least talked about money and they at least talked about grinding they at least talk about being the most athletic the most competitive being the best chess player just being the most intellectual now we're sitting here talking about yeah look at hentai man they have really destroyed us man they have really destroyed us man and they've lied to you by saying you're biologically sexually wired to just 
give in to every woman who gives you a chance. If a woman says she's going to have sex with you, you just have to give in because you're a male. You got no concept. You got no pride. You got no ego. You got no feelings. You got no real humanity to you now, dog. You as a man, you're not even worth being talked to. These women don't even talk to you no more. They just show that booty to whoever's willing to look and you just give in. That's what I'm saying. They 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 they, they demasculated us, men. And we got fooled into thinking that we, if we put these women on a, a pedestal and call them beautiful and we tell them that we that we're going to do stuff to her. If she sends us, sends us a picture of her feet, oh, that'd be so sexy. We went to the point where we don't try to get women and try to really grind to get women. We don't go push ourselves hard. We're now to the point where we say we'll buy a woman's dirty draws. That's where we're at. I want you to think about that. Like as much pride as y'all suckers think that is cool. Think about it. it. We used to be from conquering things, succeeding in things, being competitive in the world and fighting for women and getting a woman that we can spend the rest of our life with. Who's right or die to buying their dirty underwear. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny to me. I remember, I remember sitting in the parking lot with my boys talking about drinking dirty bath water because Kevin Gates made it so cool. Kevin Gates, oh yeah, I'm gonna put it in his stomach. Don't you do no running. I mean, yeah, he's so cool. Kevin Gates, I'm sorry guys. Kevin Gates ain't no dude to me. He ain't nothing to me. He, he ain't special because he'll say he'll he'll do this to this girl. He'll slap her. He'll eat her out. He'll eat her booty. He'll touch her feet. He'll do all these nasty stuff. He just sounds like a loser to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. And I know I don't know if Kevin Nate does that for an entertainment or if he's being real about that. I don't know. But if, if we look up to people like Kevin Gates, who just make it seem like you got to be the nastiest dude on earth, and that just makes you cool, it, it just doesn't. I know Kevin Gates is more than that. He's, he he could be a very wise man. But when he reverts back to that old school stuff, that old school stuff that we see some men go back to, where they want to just talk about having sex and licking her feet and all this kind of stuff and I'm not saying you can't be intimate with your one woman but man they talk about it like t kissing a girl's feet is the best the be look at this dirty kitchen in the background anyway <laughs> they make it seem like kissing a girl's feet is the top of the line like that's that's as high as we should be able to go uh no <laughs> we used to go to wars and die and I understand the world's not always like that all the time but man dang we used to go to wars and die for our country and die for our women and we used to go out there and try to make stuff that where there was clean drinking water we tried to make life easier for people we tried to help people by saving them with medication saving people with medicine we used to go out here and do these things and women too but now women have been diverted into showing their booty cheeks and men have gone to paying money for their booty cheeks and they're just happy if they get a fart in a cup <laughs> so there's women who sell farts and put it in the jar dude and I'm sorry to tell y'all, uh, I'm going I'm to end with this. As much as y'all think those are just the weirdos, oh, only the weirdos want to smell a girl's feet. Only a weirdo wants to uh, uh, drink a girl's bath water. Oh, no, brother. <laughs> it's more men than you think. Men have completely given up on themselves. They don't even try anymore. And I'm not blaming just the women. I'm blaming everybody. I'm blaming me. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming me. I'm blaming you. I'm blaming her. I'm blaming them. We all played a role. The media has played a role. I am part of the media, even though I am very, very small, small, small portion of the media. I'm always on camera. I'm always showing my face. I played a role. I was the one back in the day saying, well, you just got to treat her like a queen and she can't do anything wrong. F that. If she's a queen, I'm a king, God dang it. Which means... I got decisions to make. I got to go out there. I probably got to put my life on the line. I got to take the embarrassment in today's society. I got to take the embarrassment. I got to take the arrows. I got to stand up for my wife, even when I think she's wrong. You know, not going to go, you know, not saying she can go start a fight or something. And You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I, I got to take all the arrows. I got to stand up for her. I got to be the one who looks stupid. And I've done that before. I've taken the arrows. I look dumb for my wife. It's cool. It's cool. That's what I signed up for. I'm a king. But at the same time, you know, she treats me like one. Not, and I, I'm not trying to say that, you know, your girl has to bend the knee to you. What I'm saying is when you get a woman who's all there for you and you're all there for her, man, this jerking off stuff is whack. <laughs> yeah, once, once you get, once you find a real intimacy and you find somebody who's really, look, this girl got a wedding ring on, but, or engagement ring, maybe. But 
when you find a real woman who's willing to put it out there for you, you really put the, put it on the line, you get past that whole busting out bald eagle, whatever stupid stuff, man. I promise you, no fapping is where it's at. Learn how to quit touching yourself and learn how to start touching some money. Start touching your Bible. Start start touching lives. You know what I'm saying? Start touching some real stuff that's really going to matter in the end. Because you jacking off to a girl, it's not going to matter in the end, dude. It just makes you worse and worse of a person. Thank you. Kevin Gates now practices semen retention. Okay, good. Good. See, I don't I don't keep I don't my chat was not updating over here. Okay, if Kevin Gates is doing that, congratulations to Kevin Gates. Okay. I don't know him. <clears throat> I just seen that dang meme that's been going around about it. put it in your stomach. And I've seen some interviews from him, man. They're wild. His interviews are wild. We we can all admit to that. Okay, but I, I just <sighs> And I'm not here. Y'all already know who, what I think about, you know, certain guys, you know, there's certain men in our, our community who has pushed this divide and conquer and it's dumb. It's just really dumb. I'm over it. I, I'm over it, man. I used to think the same way, you know, I started to fall for a little bit. I was of the old school of red pill. Like when red pill was just about just speaking up for men and their rights, but not knocking women down. And it did, it used to be like, Hey man, we had problems too. That was it. it. It was men talking to men. Now it turned into men talking to women about men. I don't, I don't get it. I, I'm not going up to no girl and being like, Hey girl, just know you're useless. What do you bring to the table? What do you do to this? What do you, why? Like, I don't, I'm not walking up to a woman and be like, so what do you bring to the table? Dude, I ain't even got to ask that. It will be clear. Some of us, I'm about to hit y'all with something. I'm just going to be real with you for a second. Most of us ain't making enough money to not have two incomes. Okay. It's cool. It's okay to have a woman and y'all go 50, 50 on the bills. Y'all thinking that, that, Y'all thinking that if y'all really think y'all gonna get out here and pay all the bills by yourself, and she just gonna do everything for you and everything, you can get that same thing, dog, and be doing 50 50 on the bills. You really can. You can do 50 50 on the bills and do it all right. Congratulations, Cuddle Salt. Let's get the man a hand. I don't know. He's probably 14. I don't know. But, uh, well, actually, to be honest with y'all, let's go back to the no fap thing right quick. It's grown men that are doing this. It's a shame, man. It's hard. It's it's a shame that every, every, almost every YouTuber that I looked up to, that I watched, they're all the same now. They turn into these sex maniacs, man. We can't, you can't do nothing with these men about it except for when it has to come right down to sex. It's like, dude, do you just sit at home all night and just jerk off to everything? A girl like this can just show up on the camera and say hello. You can't even, you can't even look past that at all. You can't go. Maybe she has something intellectual to say. Nope, man, I can't wait to have sex with her. Listen, and don't get me wrong. I get it. The people are like, yeah, I know the, th I know the thought comes up. I know the thought comes up because sex is in, sex is in all of our face, twenty four seven, twenty four seven. There's sex in our face. Okay, I get it, but that's because. We've been dumbed down to almost idiots. We've been dumbed down pretty dumb, man. Like, just go talk to a young man. Go talk to a young 20-year-old now. It's like talking to a... It's like looking at a dog in a man's body. It's like, dang, dog, is all you think about is sex? I can't even... Like, think about how stupid this is. You can't even say, man, that test was hard. If you say that test is hard, what do you have to hear right after that? Pause. Damn, dude. I said the test was hard. I used a word that's been used for years, but you can't even think about me saying the word hard without you thinking about that. I mean, dang. What the hell can we do now? I'm sorry. Let me let me let me clean it up. What in the world can we do now? We can't do jack. I think men are getting better, but at the same time, I don't. <laughs> 
I think men have opened their eyes to how bad they are, but they're not doing anything better. They're just simply telling men to go make more money so they can have more sex. That's pretty much the message. Man, if you really want a woman who's going to suck you down every night, just go make more money. It's like, is that the only purpose of a woman is me to make money to get her to bust me down? I mean, to suck me up. <laughs> That's not that great. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If, if any married men are in this chat or any of this place, please tell the people. Having intimacy is an amazing thing when you're married, but it's not everything. There's so much more that goes into having a woman. There's tough times in life. There's hard things that we all go through. You know what I'm saying? Like me and me, let's just say me. Me and my wife went through a really bad tragedy that happened to the both of us. You know how much better it felt for us to have each other than to be thinking, man, I'm so alone. I could, I guess I could go jerk off to a screen. And then what happens after you, man, if y'all, I know y'all aren't going to say this, but man, what did it feel like after you get done jerking off to something that's disgusting something that you would never thought you would do it to you just have to click keep clicking through screen something that gets you there look at this dirty kitchen in the background but um you have to do something to get you there so you go look at the most craziest thing you would have never thought of and how do you feel afterwards normally you feel kind of silly all you have, let's be real let's have a real conversation all you end up doing is you have to go clean your hand you just have to go up oh, now I just ruined my sheets. Oh, I just ruined my covers. Now I got to go wash my hands. Yeah, it's pretty funny because it's, it's stupid. You just feel like an idiot. And sometimes it's funny. Sometimes you can laugh. I'm, well, I guess I can't anymore. I, I'm not young enough to laugh at it anymore. But it's, it's, it's really sad. Like, it's really sad to think, man, I didn't even talk to a girl. I didn't look at a girl. And here's another thing. And I'm going to be honest, too. Even if you were getting these women, right? Let's say you did go have a sex with a girl and you climax. It, it's great as you think it really feels to do that. It really isn't that great. Society has made it seem great. That five minutes, 10 minutes or whatever Megan Thee Stallion says now going four hours. At the end, it's just like, oh, okay. Now, now I got to go back to life. It doesn't, you know what I mean? It's like four hours of fun. What does that mean for the rest of your life? It just gets old, man. It, it just gets so old. You can hear this from guys who have had multiple women. It gets so old after a while. It wears out after a while. You're like, okay. Even if you're around, imagine, imagine if you're around pretty women all day, it gets old. You know, it's just like, okay. All right, I'm kind of done every time. Because now what do I have to do? I have to get I have to get up. I have to get fresh. I have to get clean. I have to get this girl, take her out to dinner, get her back to the motel. I have to listen to her. I have to brush her down. And then after that, I have to go find another girl. Tell you, hey, what do you want to do? And you, you know, you just, after a while, every girl's different. And at the end of the day, I'm sorry. Even, even people who are on the hub, we're talking about porn stars. Even they say, Man, it's like it's like a sex toy after a while. It's just at the end of the day, we're getting a little bit, you know, deeper here. At the end of the day, it's like it's like masturbating with a toy after a while. It really is. Having having intimacy every day, eventually it just feels like you're doing it with a sex toy. It just does. Cause eventually you're gonna find out most women's for JJ is the same. I mean, it's it's not it's not that. And here's another thing, and I'm gonna get deep. I'm gonna get deep. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I was talking about this the other day when I was talking about the OnlyFans girls. It really breaks the humanity in it because women are worth so much more than what's between the legs. And so are you, man. Um, it's not really about busting a girl down. It's really about getting to know um, a woman on an intimate level. And it's like I said, it's to the point where men and women can't be friends. A man can't even look out for a woman because he's so caught up in society of taking her down and looking at her breasts and looking at this and telling her she's just an object pretty much that if any given chance appreciate it if if at any chance you can bust her down you're going to i just think that's sad if you really can't get with the woman and be her friend without thinking about busting her down i'm talking and look about it i think everybody goes through that i think it's about having that okay that's fair 
But if it's to the point you really can't have a friend who's a girl because you can't help yourself from busting it down, every time your friend who's a girl says, hey, let's have sex, you always do it. It's That's a shame. That sounds... Didn't, oh, man, it sounds terrible. I'm going to shut up after this. But that's where I had to agree with women. I have to agree with women. When, they, when women sometimes come out and say that some men are not ish, I'll have to agree with it. If I, if you're a female, imagine no matter how many times you had a guy friend, the chance, the first chance they got to have sex with you, even if you were drunk, oh, this is bad. Even if you were drunk or you were vulnerable or you were sad, you were in a bad headspace. The first thing, the first chance you give your guy to not do that to you, to actually care about you and your feelings and tell you, no, I'm not going to do that to you. You're not in the right space. I'm not trying. I'm just, I'm just your friend. That's it. The first time you walk out on that branch and say, Hey, let, let's do something. And he says, yes. It's like, dude, it's the same thing. Like if I had $10,000, right? Let's say I had $10,000. It's just spare. What if at the very first chance I got really drunk one night and I told this, my best friend, who's a woman, Hey, I got $10,000. I think I'm just going to give it to you. I don't care. You know, I'm just feeling really vulnerable and I just want to give you this money. So you want to take it? And she immediately takes $10,000 from me and I wake up with $10,000 gone and I can't get it back. Just like when you take a woman and you, you do something with her, you can't take that back. So imagine I can't take my 10 grand back. And I'm like, what the F? I was drunk. You took my money while I was drunk? Like, I can't trust you. I thought we were friends. And then she's like, I'm sorry, I'm biologically wired to get the bag. <laughs> I'm biologically wired to do what I can. I get what I can from a man, which is money. That's what I love. I'm biologically wired. I don't care what state you're in. The chance you, if you offer money, I'm taking it. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you offer me to take me to dinner, I'm taking it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no matter what. I don't care if you're drunk, you're sad, you're having the worst day of your life, you're depressed, you don't know if you can live another day. I'm taking your money any chance I get. Because I'm biologically wired to get money and take care of myself. It's the same damn stupid argument you hear when a man says, well, I'm just biologically wired to have sex. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm just hoping I made some sense, man.